Hey, what's everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to use locks in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. First things first is I imported this photo from Envato Elements, a great subscription-based service where you subscribe and you get this uh, great ability to download an unlimited amount of photos and stock footage and templates. Check out the link in the description below. Once I've imported this, I went ahead and created some text and then imported this icon as well. If you're here just on how to lock something really quickly, there's this button right here on your layers panel, lock all. What that will do is it'll create a lock that does not allow you to do anything to this layer at all. You can't paint it, you can't move it, you can't do anything to it. However, that sometimes is a little bit too much. Sometimes we wanna be able to still manipulate the image, but we wanna lock certain elements of it. So for example, this text, we like where it's at, but we still wanna change it in the future. So instead, what we can do is we can use this tool right here, which is to lock the position. Now, if I ever try to move anything, it won't let me move that. It'll immediately go to what's behind it or in front of it first. Now, if I went ahead and locked the background as well, you'll see that there is no more moving, but this up here can still move because that has not been locked. If you'll notice, a solid lock means lock all and a transparent lock means that it is partially locked. There's a aspect of it that's locked. On the left here, we have lock transparent pixels. This one is one that you'll use sparingly, but in a uh, creative way. What I mean by that is you're not gonna keep this one on, you're only gonna use it once in a while and then turn it right back off. So this right here has a transparency in it. We can see behind this square. Well, let's say that we wanted to paint these squares um, a different color. Instead of blue, we wanted to go to, uh, I don't know, bright green. Well, if you'll see, if I ever miss these clicks, I immediately paint the inside of the square. That's not what we want it. We want it to only paint the visible uh, pixels. And so what this does, it'll actually lock the transparent pixels. So now I can't actually paint anything that's transparent. And now all I have to do is just click on these and they immediately change over. This is great on gradient transparencies as well. So if you have, for example, a circle and the outside is opaque and it slowly fades into the center uh, to a transparency, you wanna use this as well when painting it. Otherwise you'll get this big, the circle will basically fill itself in instead of actually changing the transparency. So that's a really good one to know. Next one is this one right here, which basically locks the image pixels. So for example, I've drawn this little part right here. We're done drawing. We don't wanna accidentally mess up all of our hard work. So we just go ahead and turn on this lock pixel. And now you'll see that I'm not allowed to paint on it anymore. So that's uh, your next sort of small one. Now this one, I'm not gonna go over. It's prevent auto nesting into and out of artboards and frames. If you know what that means, it'll make sense to you. But if you don't, it's not gonna make sense. And I'd have to describe the entire idea of artboards and frames to even get to that point. So that's just sort of a, if you know about this stuff, you'll understand you know, about that stuff, but it's outside the scope of this tutorial. These four locks here, this one, this one, this one, and your lock all are gonna be the ones that you use the most. And they are gonna be lifesavers when you know how to use them in the proper way. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and thumb in the comments section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you'd like to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I make videos on all the different Adobe products. And until next time, everyone, see ya.